عسل ما نسلكم مرحبا بكم مرة أخرى في شان يوتيوب لابلور أبسولو قناة التعليمية الخاصة بتلاميذ الإعدادي والثانوي نجمو زادة تزورونا على صفحتنا على الفيسبوك وعلى المنصة متاعنا على العنوان التالي www.lvia-6academy.com اليوم درسنا في اللغة الإنجليزية بعنوان collocations and voice of verbs موجه لتلاميذ البكالوريا So let's start first of all with the definition. Here, uh, the definition is taken from the Cambridge Dictionary. The combination of words formed when two or more words are often used together in a way that sounds correct. Well, here it sounds a bit tricky for us because it sounds correct to native speakers. So let's see some example. Fast food. Well, fast food is a collocation. Make a mistake. Make money. Home page. Health insurance. First place. Going on tour. Again, we have a short text. We're going to read through it. Those words in bold are, of course, collocations. Last week I had the worst business trip. Business trip is a collocation I've ever taken. Normally a travel agency takes care of booking my flight and making my hotel reservation. But this time I decided to make the travel arrangements myself. Big mistake. First of all, the plane was overbooked. So, plane overbooked is a collocation. So I was bumped into, so I was bumped to a later flight. Bumped to a later flight, collocation. When they gave me my new boarding pass, they didn't ask me if I'd prefer a window seat or an aisle seat. And I was stuck in the middle To top it off, it was a very bumpy flight. I then missed my connecting flight and had a 10-hour layover. Here, 10-hour layover, collocation with Kona in three words. 10-hour uh, layover, which means that the person here had to wait for 10 hours until uh, her next flight. So, a 10-hour layover in Chicago. I checked into a hotel near the airport just so I could take a nap. When I finally arrived in Los Angeles, it turns out that I had made a mistake with my hotel reservation. Again here, hotel reservation is a collocation. I just did make it in bold because we have already seen it here. Okay, And instead of booking a room at a five-star hotel, Five star hotel collocation with three words. I had booked three nights at CD Hotel. Um, CD Hotel means not a comfortable hotel. So I was stuck sleeping on an uncomfortable mattress in a dingy room while my colleagues enjoyed the luxury hotel. So here we have seen uh, some examples of collocations. Let's move on now to phrasal verbs. So, what is a phrasal verb? The meaning of a phrasal verb as a unit is usually very different from the meanings of the individual verb and the practical. So here, phrasal verb consists of a verb and a practical. Shnual practical. الكلمة اللي تجي بعد الفرق سواء preposition ولا adverb the meaning for example here the meaning of bring about bring about which means create or cause something to happen is not equal to the meaning of bring alone and about alone so كي نأخذ الفريزل verbs bring about إذو مزوز كلمتين مع بعضهم عندهم معنى بينما كي نقسموهم كل كلمة واحدة عندها معنى مختلف bring 
حاجه وبعد حاجه اخرى ما بعضهم يجي create or cause something to happen again uh, many phrasal verbs are idiomatics and you have to learn what they mean uh, they may contain the same verb but have different meanings depending on the preposition or adverb which follows let's take uh, the example of verb to turn verb to turn نجمو نردوه في phrasal verbs مختلفين like turn back turn down and turn up كل واحدة عندها معنى مختلف so you turned back because he had left something at home he had turned back means change direction he turned down the invitation because he was feeling tired turn down means to refuse they turned up unexpectedly turned up here means arrive so to turn كل ما نزيدوه preposition وإلا adverb المعنى متاعو يختلف uh, well let's be careful a phrasal verb can have more than one meaning معناتها ينجم يكون ال 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 الverb مع نفس ال preposition يختلف من جملة إلى أخرى for example took off took off المعنى متاعو يختلف من تو سياق الجملة for example the airplane took off is not the same as I took off my shoes the airplane took off means أقلعت الطائرة I took off my shoes خلعت حذائي so here the same phrasal verb turn off has different meanings okay let's talk about the form in depth a phrasal verb is a special kind of verb that consists of two or three parts deja hakina el parts haduma nsemihom practicals the first part is always a verb the next part can be a preposition an adverb or both معناتها النجم يكون عندنا phrasal verb متكون من verb plus preposition وإلا verb plus adverb وإلا verb plus adverb plus preposition متكون من ثلاثة كلمات okay um, so again phrasal verb متكون من verb plus practical again ملاحظة Some practicals function as a preposition and adverb. Donc, manage So, some words function both as uh, prepositions and adverbs. Kima on, down, and up. So, first of all, phrasal verb. That consists of verb plus preposition, like look after, care about, put on. Haduma, uh, phrasal verbs, متكونين من verbs plus prepositions. Now, verb plus adverb. Kima. Get together, look up, carry on. Again, شوفنا هنا الملاحظة عنا ال same practical and two functions. ينجم يكون هنا ال practical on ينجم يكون preposition كم ينجم يكون adverb. And finally, preposition متكونة من three expressions اللي هي verb, adverb plus preposition. كيما Look for word to, which means to anticipate with pleasure. The expression idea di man shufuha fil letters. Di man fi akhir letter nektbo. I'm looking for word to hear and from you. Another example, put up with, which means to tolerate. And get away with, 
which means to escape. Let's recap now. شوفوا في ال في الدرس الأول في البرنامج ااا متاع البكالوريا سناب شو نقطة ااا grammatical. شو تشوفوا ال collocations, phrasal verbs, and some idiomatic expressions. اليوم ااا شوفنا ملخص لل collocations. شو هما ال collocations؟ هما مجموعة من الكلمات في الغالب كلمتين ولا ثلاثة. يجيو مع بعضهم يكونوا معنى. ال collocations هذوما عندهم meanings بالنسبة لل native speakers. So using phrasal verbs and collocation makes you sound like a native speaker. Okay. So شوفنا this example of collocation. A phrasal verbs. شوفنا the phrasal verb متكون من فعل plus practical. Practical in a جميع يكون preposition وال adverb. كما ينجم يكون phrasal verb متكون من three parts verb plus preposition plus adverb okay so this is the end of our lesson I hope it was clear enough if you like this video don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and see you next time